Welcome to another Smart Cards GED test video tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn about single digit long division. This tutorial corresponds with the quantitative problem solving assessment target and the mathematics content area on the GED test. So let's get started. First, we're going to look at a long division example. Then we're going to look at a formal long division illustration. We're going to go through the long division process in words. And then we're going to look at a couple of examples of the single digit long division. Look at the following collection of 32 beach balls. Let's say you want to send packages of three balls to each daycare center in your area. How many daycare centers will you be able to give beach ball packages to? When we put squares around groups of three beach balls, we find out that there are 10 groups of three beach balls with two beach balls left over. So 10 daycare centers will get packages. This is an illustration of division. The specific elements of division in this illustration are the dividend is 32, the divisor is 3, the quotient is 10, and the remainder is 2. More formally, when we begin the long division process, we start with the long division box. Inside the box is the dividend, outside the box is the divisor, on top of the box is the quotient, and below the box is the remainder. We continue to subtract multiples of the divisor until we arrive at the remainder. The divisor is the number that divides, the dividend is the number being divided, the quotient is the answer, and the remainder is what's left over. In words, the long division process goes like this. First, we make a list of multiples of the divisor from 0 through 9. Then, using the build-up method, we build up the dividend to just large enough to subtract at least one group of the divisor. Next, we use the corresponding divisor multiple from the list you created in step 1 above. The number found in step 3 will become the first digit in the quotient. Next, multiply the digit in the quotient by the divisor. Subtract the product found in step 5 from the dividend, then bring down the next digit. We repeat these steps 1 through 7 until the division process ends when each digit in the dividend has a digit in the quotient and the remainder is less than the divisor. Let's look at this example, 67 divided by 3. First, make a list of multiples of the divisor. Next, we ask ourselves, can we get a group of 3 out of 6, which is the first digit in the dividend? The answer is yes. At most, how many groups of 3? Look at the list of multiples of 3. We can get, at most, 2 groups of 3 out of 6. So 2 will be the first digit in the quotient. 2 times 3 equals 6. Write the 6 under the 6 in the dividend and subtract. We get 0. Bring down the 7. Can we get a group of 3 out of 7? Yes. How many groups of 3? Look at your multiples list. Yes, we can get 2 groups of 3 out of 7. Write 2 in the quotient. Multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. Subtract 6 from 7 to get 1. This is where the division process ends. Each digit in the dividend has a digit in the quotient, and the remainder, which is 1, is less than the divisor 3. 138 divided by 4. Make a list of multiples of 4. Can we get a group of 4 out of 1? No. Can we get a group of 4 out of 13? Yes. How many groups of 4? Go to your list of multiples of 4. We can get 3 groups of 4 out of 13. So 3 will be the first digit in the quotient. 3 times 4 equals 12. Subtract 12 from 13, we get 1. Bring down the next digit in the dividend, which is 8. Can we get a group of 4 out of 18? Yes. How many groups? Go to your list of multiples of 4. We can get 4 groups of 4 out of 18. So 4 is the next digit in the quotient. 4 times 4 equals 16. Subtract 16 from 18 to get 2. This is where the division process ends. Each digit in the dividend has a digit in the quotient and the remainder, 2, is less than the divisor, 4. 
Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a new tutorial next week. And if you're new to the Smart Cards YouTube channel, click the subscribe button.